Welcome to the Pirate Handyman, where we help you become more self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. If you dig what we're doing, hit that subscription button down below, and if you hit that shift's notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video drops. So today what we're going to do is, you've seen on my old lawnmower, we've done maintenance on it. Uh, it's lasted for 15, 18 years, uh, could even be older than that, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Uh, but we had a problem this weekend. The lower handle broke. And this is a part that goes right down here. And what happened is, if you look inside there, you can see that it just rusted out. So it broke off. So uh, a new lower handle like this, which is the part that goes down here, and hooks onto the upper handle. This is about $90. Uh, to get a new lawnmower, it's going to be, you know, probably between two and three hundred dollars. We looked it up. But you know how I am here. I, I want to save money for me, <laughs> and that's why I'm teaching this to you. So, what I did is I cut the end of this off and I measured it. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you the story of how this all came about. But what I did is I went to a local hardware store and I got a piece of electrical conduit. And this is just galvanized metal. Um, it's, it's very rigid, but it's also a little bit pliable that you can work with it. So I got it measured and made sure that it was going to fit either over the top or inside and this happened to fit inside very snug the one that went around it the size that would go around it was a little too janky so what we're going to do is we're going to pound this down to where it is about that long and then we're going to measure it so it goes up inside and you can see these are where the bolts go through to hook it onto the upper handle we'll just put a hole right there and so then it'll it'll work so the first thing I'm gonna do is make some noise now I'm gonna measure this I'm gonna use the broken one so I want to go to about here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into a vise So you can see we've got it down pretty well, but if we were going to use a hammer, now I, I don't have a sledgehammer, but I probably want to use about an eight pound sledge. And you want to find some place where you have a bit of a lip because you don't want this to be flat on either side. So we've got a lip right here at the end of the garage. You also might have a, a lip going into the house or on some stairs or something. All right, so we've got that pretty flat. So now we need to drill holes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece that I had before, center it, and just trace my holes. All right, so now to help me with, with the drilling, I'm going to use what's called a center punch. You can use a nail also, but this is just going to be a good place to help the the drill bit gets started so it doesn't slide all over. So just take the center punch. Put it in the center where, right in the center of that circle. Give them 
nice little dent in there. Okay, so I've used my center punch. Now I've also cut this down um, so it's going to fit up inside the, uh, the inner handle. And I also marked where the hole should be for the bolts that are already in there. Now one thing I failed to mention, uh, I think I told you that the inner handle was going to cost 90 bucks. It was going to cost between two and 300 for another uh, lawnmower. I just bought a five piece, I'm sorry, a five foot um, length of, this is half inch galvanized pipe for $4. So that's all it's going to cost us. So now I'm going to use my, uh, <clears throat> my carbide uh, drill bit and I'm going to put on safety glasses because you're going to have metal flying around here. And I've also got this cool little shop light here that will help me see exactly where I need to go. I'm going to put something right underneath that so I can get it perfectly flat. Test out to make sure I'm in the right place. Turn this on. As you can see, it goes through like butter. And it's really hot. Last thing we want to do here you can see we've got little metal shards coming off um, we can use a file you probably want to use a rat tail file here or if you have a dremel um, with a uh, with a stone bit then you can just take it like this just smooth it off All right, now we're ready to put this thing back together. So we'll insert this. And we can see that on the offsets, the offset hole goes on top. And these are just in here by, with the cotter pins. short on this side so I'm gonna have to drill this out just a little bit more on the back hole actually instead of using the drill I'm gonna use my stone grinder here that I want to use the uh, the Dremel and that's why I still have the glasses on is it's a little easier to control than a, a big cutting bit like I've got in the uh, drill press so I'll just go over here All right, there we go. Now we got it. So, we'll slide this on down. And it doesn't want to slide all the way for some reason. So it, ah, here's why. This is why we do this. 
you can see that this has an indentation here and so we're stuck about right here so I'm going to need to flatten this out a little bit now on the other side we don't have that. So, I want to mark it. If I pound this down, it's going to expand it out this way and then it's not going to go down. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the vise so it's not going to move. I'm going to take this big center punch that I had. Here's a bigger version of the, than the one we used. And see if I can just fold this down. And it's working. All right, well, you saw what happened. Uh, so what we did is we cut this piece to right here and then put it up inside and then just drilled two holes. Now, as you know, if you've seen some of the other videos, I keep screws and bolts. And so I found a couple of half inch carriage bolts, <clears throat> drilled the holes and then uh, put on a toothed washer and then a split washer, sometimes called a lock washer and then just tighten these down. And so now it's in there and it, we've got a lot of good rigidity. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to paint this. Now it's not just because we don't want the neighbors to look at the lawnmower and say, oh, what did you do? Um, that's part of it. But it's also a Rust-Oleum paint. And so it's going to uh, keep it from rusting, help keep it from rusting uh, in the future. So just walk outside here. on. So I'll go ahead and paint the bolts too. I'm not going to paint the whole handle because I really don't care that much. And so now we're just going to let her dry and then we'll put it back on. All right, so paint is dry. So we come back over here. Get lined up. And put the cotter pins back in. You see, it's in here nice and solid. We'll put the rest of it back together. But thanks for joining us here on the Pirate Handyman, where we teach you how to become more self-sufficient and save coin for your treasure chest. Sure hope you dig what we're doing. If you do, join the crew. Hit that subscribe button down below and hit that ship's notification bell, and you'll be notified every time a new tip drops. Here's to smooth sailing. <laughs>